Hello and welcome to OzScale Modeling and welcome to the build of this, the Martini Brabham BT44B from 1975 Formula One race. And this is the 112 big scale series by Tamiya. And it looks like a fantastic kit. Now, first of all, I must admit up front here that I've already recorded part one of the video, but unfortunately I had a lot of um, sound issues and my mo microphone messed up on me. So what I'm doing is I'm redoing number one um, of the series. Now, all the sections I did in part one I've built. Um, I can't undo what I've done, but we'll go through and, and uh, you know, go back over exactly what I have done. All right, so first of all, let me get the um, instructions out and we'll have a quick look at that. Okay, so here's our instructions. Now, first thing I did was I washed all the sprues, okay? Now, I'll put a couple of pictures up in the corner there um, just with some uh, normal soapy water with dishwashing liquid just rinse them all off, um, set them out to dry overnight and done. So if there was any residue or anything on them, it's all been cleaned off and they'll be fine. Shouldn't have any problems with painting. Okay, now what I'll do now is I'll go through what I've already done um, and we'll have a quick look. So the instructions, we won't go through any detail. I've already done an unboxing and review of this kit, which is in the same playlist as this video is in. So you're welcome to go back and have a look and see what's involved, what come, what the kit includes and everything you need um, to know about that. But um, so what I've done is everything I've marked off in here, which are the first four steps and I'm on to step five at the moment. So what we'll do is, first of all, I'd put the front suspension together, okay, quite simple, left and right, and put them together. And then we had the, um, the body of the um, Formula One car where we attached the suspension um, supports. Then across here, there was a piece here that goes in, and then we worked on the um, steering shaft. All right, so there's a few bits there. You've got to be a bit careful because some of them you need to be um, not gluing, okay, and they need to be fit in the correct way so that they're in the right orientation. When it's all done, it, it comes out looking like that. Now, another thing about th with this uh, for the instructions, at the end of the video, there'll be photos of every step of the instructions page by page. So you can always go back to that for reference if you're building this kit okay so um, yeah so there's all of so that's what that's going to look like then we had to glue it in place and it gets glued down into a little spot in the bottom there uh, not a problem but make sure and I had to be careful of this that you use some very good glue because um, it's not much to hold that and that is the operating the um, shaft to, to, to turn the front wheels so when you turn the steering wheel the front wheels will turn so there's quite a bit of pressure on that so make sure you either super glue it or make sure it's um, firmly in place uh, i did this by using super glue but then i also ran some some of this around it as well just to make sure it would be uh, not going to come back off okay so that was step step two we did <coughs> Now over to step three. Now I'll show you the car as it is uh, in a minute. Um, this is the firewall, the rear um, bulkhead, I should call it. Yep. And that gets attached onto the back there and also sprayed in the aluminium color. Okay. Now all the paints I'm using for this, obviously being a Tamiya kit, they do suggest using uh, Tamiya paints, but I went with Mr. Hobby. I thought I'll give them a go. So I'm doing that. There is one particular color, which is uh, aluminium that the hobby shop didn't have in um, Mr. Hobby. So I got that as Tamiya paint, but otherwise all the other paints are Mr. Hobby um, versions of the same color callouts. 
Also in the end of the video, you'll see there'll be the color call out, which is here showing you what color paint you need for the model. That's uh, the photograph of that at the end of the video as well. All right. So yes, yeah, so this part here was a, a pump that gets put together. And uh, I think most of that was a metallic black or, or metallic silver. And that got put on the back of there so that's all done there's that shaft that goes through part of the steering mechanism that controls and slides that you do have to follow these instructions make sure it's in straight and it's accurate and that both ends are pointing out evenly with this pointing down you'll get the right orientation and, and you'll have no problem at all there's a couple of brackets that go in on there as well that's all being done um, here in step four, the suspension was put together. So this was the front dampers, as they're called. Uh, again, painted up in their colors. There's a metal spring in the packet. And that can be um, uh, just, it just goes over the top of that. And then you press that hard and it clips in and that's your suspension. All right, there's upper suspension supports where they go on, they get put on. And there's a couple of brackets down there that are like that hold that front rack and pinion in place and let it slide through. And they provide a bit of support. So at this case, at this point now, I'll show you what I've done on the car. It's brought up to that level here, and I'll just grab that and bring it out back in a second. Okay, so there it is at where we're up to now. There's that rack. That's where the, your steering wheel is going to attach. Uh, this will turn, there we go, and that moves these which will turn the wheels and on the front. Uh, it's already painted up, so I've painted this in the white. And uh, it hasn't been clear coated yet, but uh, it's gone on really well and the paint's looking really nice. There's those front suspension and it's working suspension. So you can see you press the supports there and it goes up and down. Same on the other side. So that's going to be good. Um, and along the back is that bulkhead where we have that uh, little pump that goes on the back. Uh, this was done in the, a silver color. Just go by the reference on the on the instructions. Uh, this piece I've left in here. This obviously will come off. It's a bit of sprue, but it's handy to have that as something to hold, uh, and especially something to clamp when you're painting. Now for the paint um, for the undercoat primer I use Mr. Surfacer uh, gray so that went down really well and uh, and I also have a black Mr. Surfacer I haven't used yet but that'll be more for the engine um, none of this under here needed to be sprayed because the whole floor pan will go on and cover that so you won't see any of that as well as this will get covered as well so you won't see in there um, in there you can see those two brackets that help support that rack and pinion along there. There's the bottom suspension supports and there are those supports on the inside that were done in step one. Okay, so that's where I'm at. So what I'm gonna do now is bring us on to step five now. Now step five, there's a lot of parts to paint. Uh, let me just show you. I'll be back in back again in a second. Okay, so when I said parts to paint, I mean I've already painted them. <laughs> so um, I ordered a new microphone that took about four days to get here, um, but I'm really super happy with it. It looks it it works fantastic, as you can tell. And uh, I'll throw a quick photo of it up there in the corner there. And uh, I want to thank all the. Um, my new members now that we have a membership available to the channel uh, all my new members that contributed uh, so far for the month uh, thank you so much because that's gone in towards purchasing that microphone and uh, it's made a whole big difference of the quality of sound we're going to have um, on future videos all right so in step four we're working on attaching the front dampers well we've done that sorry step five we're on to now so step five is uh, the front bulkhead. All right, so there's the front bulkhead, also done in the aluminium, and that's ready to put on. It's already painted. 
Um, there's a bracket that goes in the bottom there. We'll, we'll use that. Um, this part here is the battery. Um, painted that up with the two little chrome spots as, as per instructions sitting there. And then all on the back. So there's the instructions. We'll have a quick look at it there. So all these parts here um, all, are all painted up as you can see here and uh, ready to get put together and attached onto that uh, bulkhead. So I, if, you're, if you're interested, I use chopsticks with blue tack to hold small parts that I'm painting. I find that very useful. So um, yeah. So, and I can reuse everything and uh, yeah, it just makes that job easier. Okay, so um, what do I do now? I guess I'll put these parts on to our car and um, we'll come back when they're on. Well, actually, they'll get put onto this before we attach that. So we'll come back and have a look before I attach this into the car itself. Now, also here, um, these are the, I guess they call the some more suspension parts. They don't really tell you in the kit, in the instructions what it is, but I'm guessing that's also part of the suspension. We've got two of those brackets which will also get attached. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll be back shortly. Now, just a quick reminder. Um, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay. And um, hit the notifications bell so you get notified of when uh, my videos come up. Uh, if you like the video, of course, give us a thumbs up. That'd be great. And if you've got any comments, questions, um, anything, just let us know in the comments below. And as I said, we also, we also have memberships now available where you get extra perks. And there's a few other ways uh, down in the description below the video here that um, you can uh, contribute uh, towards the growth of the channel as well. All right, guys, um, back in a second and we'll continue on. Okay, so what we're going to do here is on this bulkhead here, get all the, have these parts here get attached. Now it's important to keep these in order and that's why I left them on the sprue with the number. So number 18, 20 and 19. 18 and 20 have these two larger ones go on and the smaller one goes on number 19. And the three bits on the top doesn't matter. All right, the attachment points are down where they attach onto the, um, yeah, onto this piece here. So it's not going to be a problem. So we'll take that off and uh, we don't have to worry about touching up anything. So this piece here, for example, take that off like that. And then we'll put that will go on top like that. I think that's right. Checking the way they go, yeah. Yeah, that's going to go like that. And then one of those will sit on the top like that. <laughs> and they all go all over the place, but you see what I mean. So I'm going to go and do this. And I'll come back and we'll have a look at them just before we attach them onto that. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back. And I just wanted to show you. I've got all those pieces glued on. I'm just letting them dry properly there. But this here is a little bit tricky here. So on this bulkhead, there's a piece that goes on there, you see. And there's a couple of pins that go through the hole there. But what you've got to do is before you glue it down, this swing arm, I guess it is, part of the suspension, it needs to go in that hole and then then you put that in place like that so that this can be rotate and be adjusted and it's held in there and we've got to do one on the other side as well so this one also needs to go on the other side and then we can glue it probably i'd say just along there and make sure you don't get glue where this is so that it still allows it to um, rotate around a bit Okay, because later on in a couple of steps, I think that needs to be attached to um, a completely separate part. 
make sure also that that's the right way around so this little piece here was placed put in place on top of that and that's the side you want facing up okay you can't really get it wrong but just just be aware okay so what I'll do is I'll glue that I'll also use a couple of little clamps I've got these these are great these are these tiny little pegs here I use these and you just clamp pieces in like that so I'll let that dry okay I'll put the other side in now and then uh, we'll come back and look at it and then we'll be able to put these pieces on okay back again in a sec okay so that's all glued on I'm just waiting for them to dry and I also noticed with these that they're keyed so they're only going to go one way that's in that position yeah they've got like little half circles that will only fit in there in the center and that one so I'll give that a few more minutes to dry and I'll attach these glue them on and that will be the end of part or step five um, the battery obviously goes in the next step okay so all right we'll be back in a sec okay so those parts are drying there they are attached there we go like that looking good we can put this part aside now somewhere where it's not going to get damaged and move on to step six which is the cockpit all right so um let me get this out of the way and we'll get that over and have a look at it okay so here we are at step six looking at the cockpit here um, there it is there i still need to clean up some of the spoo gates edges to, to do on that but um basically it's all got to be done in the aluminium so we need to undercoat all of that but also while we're doing the aluminium this here which looks like the um, shifter of the gear stick that runs down the side that's also aluminium along with that piece along the side there so i'll take those two pieces off and get them ready to paint but basically everything is going to be undercoated primary mr surfacer of course and this under here i'm not even sure what that is whether it's a a fuel tank or a fire extinguisher but there is a decal for that as well so we'll check on that but in the moment and also we've got our brake clutch and accelerator pedals down here so i will um take those off so i'll get all the parts off the sprue basically and uh, get them um, ready to go including we'll have a look at see what these pieces are that sit in here okay all right so let me get some parts off and uh, we'll come back and have another look right so there's all our parts ready to go and prime with our mr surfacer uh, we've got our brake accelerator and clutch a little i'm not sure what that is fire extinguisher possibly we've got a clamp over the battery here also has a couple of little pins that go in there to hold it down so they've got very good detail there obviously the cockpit there to do and a little piece that sits on the end of that tank all right so um yeah i'll go do some painting and be back in a sec and there's a few more parts I missed. <laughs> uh, this section here. So we've got all that. But then there's these bits here. Uh, again, these are going to be semi-gloss black and uh, aluminium. But I'll prime them up with the um, uh, the uh, Mr. Surfacer Grey now. And then, uh, yeah, then I'll be able to put the proper colours in. Um, these tiny little pins here, I'm just going to hand paint those. They're just so small. And for this, there's like a aluminium strap around it. So I'll probably mask that up and uh, and do that. But um, yeah, I'll let you know when that's done. Okay, I'll be back again when I've done these. Okay, welcome back. So all our parts are painted. There's our, well, I'll show you this first. There's that... Uh, I'm guessing it's some sort of a fire extinguisher being red but that's that's come up really really nice as you can see there in the gloss red 
Um, all I need to do is the band around the center to be done in uh, aluminium. But uh, I'll wait till this dries properly, so I'll leave it till tomorrow. And then I'll mask it, and then I'll probably paint it on with a brush. I'm not sure. I might airbrush it. We'll see how it goes. It's only a small thing to do. But that's come up really well. Um, the aluminium color for the bracket for the uh, uh, the battery is done. And the piece that sits on the other end of this is there done as well. There's all our brake, accelerator and clutch all done in the um, aluminium. So they look good. And there's our gear shifter running down the side. And as well as these, I, I don't know what they are. They're sort of like some radiators, I think. I'm not sure, but they're done in the black. Now I've also done the cockpit as well. That's done in aluminium. That's all drying at the moment. So when that's all done, then we can start fitting all of this. And let me just bring the instructions over and we'll have a look here. So yeah, it's all done to there and then we can fit it. And once all that's placed in there, it's just a matter of um, putting that onto the rest of the body as well as that front section with those um, arms there for the suspension and that front uh, firewall, I think, or bulkhead. Yeah, so that'll all go on there as well. All right, um, important thing here, they say here is to watch this, attach that as shown. That's just that little piece on the front of the tank. Make sure it's facing the right direction. I'm thinking there may be a hose to go connect to that later or something. I'll make sure that's up the right way. Um, yeah, so I'll be back shortly with the uh, cockpit all dried um, and we'll start putting those parts in. Okay, all right, back in a sec. Hello and welcome back. And it's the next morning and there's our cockpit uh, all done in the aluminium color. Okay, all ready to go. I don't have to worry about that because that's going to be covered over, so I'm not worried. But yeah, so what we're going to do here is just test part, fit some all of the parts that we're going to fit on here um, that we've already painted, just to make sure everything's going to go on okay. So the first thing we've got here is the battery. I'll just move this up here and do this. There we go. So there's our battery, and it's going to sit, looks like, uh, turn this right around like that there we go so the battery's going to sit down in there and there's a couple of locating pins for it and that's that is it so that's in there and then on top of the battery we've got this support piece let me show you that there it is there take that out And I don't know if it matters which way that goes. I, it shouldn't. Okay, so that's going to sit somehow on top of there. That doesn't look right, does it? Uh, the instructions aren't really clear uh, unless it goes on there not sure um, let me just check I'll have to go through forward through the instructions and see if I can get a, a view of it already fitted because the one that's showing it being fitted as you can see here is not really showing me how that's going to go down. We've got the two pins to go on. I'm just checking in there. Yeah, I guess it will cover those parts along the top there. All right, let me try this. Um, another point about the instructions too. If you haven't already, join our um, Oscale Modeling group on Facebook. 
Because on Facebook, if you go up to the tab that says files, there'll be one there that's called um, the Brabham that we're building here. And that is a short video, which is the short section at the end of this video that has all the instructions that I've recorded. So you can actually download that and, uh, and have that for yourself. The reason I put that there is because the instructions that are up on ScaleMates for this model aren't the ones for this particular um, one. They're, they're one from an earlier version and they're not they're not these ones. So that's why I photographed them and did it that way. But yeah, on our groups, Facebook group, um, if you haven't already, um, go over there and have a look. Uh, the link to the group is down in the description as well. And then you can download uh, a short video of all the pages of all the steps of the instructions. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Have a look at this. Okay, so it does fit. Okay, I just need to position it right. So now this little pin, I've already put the one down on that side. I'm just going to slide this one down here. Put that in there. There we go. And that's in, I think. There. There we go. So there you go, the clamp for the battery is in. What I'll do is I'll just pop a bit of glue at those two points and that should be enough to hold that down. Okay, now while that just dry fitted, let's have a look at um, another piece. So let's ch check this one out. Okay, now I've I've still got a mask. I've still got to tape up and and paint the uh, the aluminium band around on that. But let's just see how this fits in. We want that to go pretty much straight down in there. What I do this without getting my fingers in the way. Or I knock everything else out of the way. <laughs> it probably would have been best to do this. There we go. That's going to go on there. I've knocked that off. But we know that fits, so that's okay. So that's going to sit in there. Then there's a piece that sits on the end of that. So the instructions say you've got to make sure this is facing the right direction. I had that glued on with some blue tack, so we'll take that off. So that's going to go in on the end of that tank. All right, so uh, I'll do that. And again, I need to do something about this blue tack because it uh, <laughs> it softens up like chewing gum, and it, when you go to take it off, it makes a mess. But there we go. It's off. We got that. Not so bad after all. <laughs> all right, so I'll put that on the end of the tank. And then we've just got to fit the um, the clutch accelerator and brake pedal, which we might as well do that now. Let's have a quick test fit of those. Here they are on here. Um, so we'll do, this looks like the accelerator first. Take that off. And that's going to sit in there. Again, they just the positions for them are right there, so that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And then we have the bigger one in the center, I think that is. Yeah. Take that off. That one's gonna go there. is there and this one which I'm assuming will be clutch or brake there we go and they're in Whoa. yeah all right so they just need to be glued in place and uh That'll be good to go. Um, the only other thing we have are these panels that sit on the back here that we did. So let's have a quick look at that. 
So we've got this piece, which I've still got to trim that off. We'll just cut that bit off there. All right. Tidy up my mess here a bit. All right. And that, again, there's two little square points there that will fit where they do on there. And we'll just see how that goes in. It should fit in there like that. One, two. I think that's it. Yep, so that's in. Let me just turn this around. Just make sure that is sitting up there, sitting flush. I'm knocking everything everywhere, aren't I? Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm blocking your view. Yeah, yep, yeah, all good. <laughs> uh, and then on the other side of that, there's another piece here, which again, we'll chop that off. There, and it will go on this side. That's right, in the top, yeah, I'm just gonna... ah, there we go, just need pressing in, same with that side, all right, so that'll go on there, and then we will have, let me just get those out of the way, because they're going everywhere, aren't they? I don't want to lose pieces. All right, uh, this one will clip in there, I'm sure. A bit of pressure. There it is. Okay. Both sides. Then we've got our gear stick. Just there. And again, these connecting points I left on there just to hold while I was gluing it. And they're deliberately I've chosen the ones that are underneath so there's no need to be trimming up too much so that's going to go turn this around like that and i think it's yeah there's where it sits in there that's going to sit there's a bit of a depression in there and goes into there to there that one's not going to snap in but it does fit that's that's going to glue into position there okay and then the last piece we have is this little bit which will go on the other side and it's going to sit down under there and there's also locating pins under that trust me it'll fit <laughs> all right so off camera I'll go and put all these in properly, glue them all in place, and then uh, we'll come back and have a look at it because that should then be the end of step six. Yeah. All right. Uh, and of course, I've got to remember to, I'll paint that up first. It's been plenty of time to dry properly so I can get that, that strip painted up on that. Okay. Once again, back in a sec. Okay. So I've painted this up masked it hit it with the um chrome and let's just take the masking tape off and see how that came up and it's looking good yes happy happy side off and we're done there we go there's our little aluminium strap holding it in. 
him up really, really, really good. Happy. All right. Um, in the meantime, I've just glued those parts on the side here, just clamping them on, letting them dry, and I'll continue on and put the rest of this together, and we'll get back when it's finished. Uh, one thing I almost forgot was the decal. We've got a decal number 30. It goes on the side here. So I've just got a bit of water there and a bit of paper towel to rest it on. So we'll just dip that in the water to start with and make sure it's completely covered. Okay. And then I'll put on the paper towel. To dry to absorb some of the water off anyway it should only take a few seconds and then we can lay it on here just move it up a bit there we go I'll put that on, be back in a sec and we'll have a look at it. Okay, there it is. Decal is on. Looks good. Now I promise I'll come back and have everything fitted in the cockpit. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back everybody. So there we go. I've got it in there. Our fire extinguisher down in there. And you'll see how shiny that's looking because what I ended up doing was going back to the hobby shop and getting what I'd forgotten to get. And that was some clear X22. There it is there. And of course, a nice good size bottle of X20A thinner. And um, yeah, so I gave it a coat of thinner over the decal and uh, it's dried up and I've just glued that in now. I'll just leave that for another 10 minutes. And then I'll go and start on the other section here which is let me just check on the instructions here actually now we have to actually attach this onto the actual body of the car so there's that and that so we need to put this on here now now's probably the time where I need to take off that sprue that's in the way and we turn this and put that on and then all the other section that we built here will get attached onto the front on there I think or the other way around on the other way around upside down turned around all right let me get this sorted and we'll come back okay so done I've put the cockpit down it's in, it's glued at the two points there where the tabs come through the holes. Um, when, it, when you're pushing in this side here, pushing this in, you need to pull the, um, the body out so that it goes slides down. When I did that, I accidentally knocked off one of these pieces that were glued in here, but I've, I put the thing in, put it all in place and then glued that back on and it's fine. Now, um, one of the other things is for the suspension all right they go through the little holes there so there's a little hole there it goes in and then it clips on that little post inside same on that side um, so to make sure that nothing was going to break what i did was i put the tweezers down and held that in place while i pushed on that arm and it clipped went through the hole and then clipped on the little post in there no problem. The same on the other side, just being a little bit careful because I had to re-glue that piece on. But it's it's on there fine now. Okay. Um, then I've glued all of it down. This firewall piece is also glued in now. Um, just letting that dry. And there we go. There's what it looks like with our steering column. And every time I get this, I always just give it a twist to make sure it, it still turns. So we didn't get any glue where we don't want any glue. That's the important thing. All right, so there we go. That is the finish of step six.
Um, it's starting to come on really well. I'm starting to think of when I should be putting decals on here because I still need to clear coat um, this area here. And obviously I've got to do the decals before I do that. But we'll see what happens because in the next step we sort of put this all aside now and we'll be starting to work on the, um, the oil tank, the upper front upper arms uh, and then going on to radiator all right but that'll be in the next part okay that this will do for part one we've gone over the half hour mark i'm trying to keep them a bit shorter than normal so um thank you for watching um please you can always subscribe for free and connect and hit that notifications bell so you get notified of videos of when they come up uh, if you want to contribute a bit more towards the channel, then memberships are open. You can hit that join button and have a look at the extra perks you get there as a as a member of the um, of the channel. Um, there's also down in description ways of um, also contributing if you wanted to buy me a coffee or uh, throw something into PayPal. It's all most 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 welcome. <laughs> all right, so thanks guys and. Uh, don't forget uh, my live stream every weekend. Um, just check my lives and you'll get notified of when that's come on. I usually schedule that about three days before so you'll be aware of what time it's on. It's usually uh, around about 7, 8 in the morning in Australia. It's usually late in the afternoon in most parts of America and the UK about 9 o'clock at night. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks all and uh, hopefully I'll see you all in part two. Okay. Bye for now. Cheers.